So today we're going to look at how to find intercepts of an equation. Uh, so if you remember, the intercepts are just where the graph of an equation intersects the x and y axis. Uh, where it hits the x axis, that's called an x intercept. And where it hits a y axis, that's called a y intercept. Um, x, ap x intercepts occur when the y value is equal to 0. And y intercepts occur when the x value is equal to 0. So let's jump in and take a look at finding the intercepts for some quadratic equation. So if we had an equation like this, y equals x squared plus 7x plus 12, and we wanted to find the intercepts for this, both the x and the y intercepts, uh, what would we do? Well, first let's start off by trying to find the y intercepts. The y intercepts are a little easier to solve in this case. So y intercepts occur when x is equal to 0. So basically all we have to do is we have to take 0 and plug it in to our equation anywhere we see x and solve for y. So we get y equals 0 squared plus 7 times 0 plus 12 and then simplify this. So 0 squared is just 0 so we get y equals 0. 7 times 0 is 0 and there we go. So 0 plus 0 plus 12 is just 12. So we get y equals 0. Oh, whoops. We get y equals 12. Sorry. 0 plus 0 plus 12 is 12. Uh, so our y-intercept is going to have the ordered pairs of 0, comma, 12. Because the x-coordinate is 0, the y-coordinate is 12. All right. So now let's take a look at finding the x-intercepts. So x-intercepts occur when the y value is 0 when the y value is 0. So we take 0 and we substitute it in for y. So we get 0 equals x squared plus 7x plus 12. And then we have to solve for x. Uh, so we have a quadratic here, which means we have a few ways that we could try to solve this. Uh, some of the most common are factoring and the quadratic formula. Uh, this one actually looks like it's factorable, so let's try that first. So remember to factor, what we're trying to do is look for two numbers that multiply to be 12. So they multiply to be 12 and add to be 7, add to 7. So if we're looking at our factors of 12, so we have our factors of 12, we have 1 and 12. 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So we're looking for these factors that sum to be 7 and their product is 12. So all of these have a product of 12. So which of these sum to be 7? Well, we can see that that's going to be 3 and 4. So this is 3 and 4. So that means this factors to be 0 equals the quantity x plus 3 and then x plus 4 and now we have this factored. Uh, we're not quite there yet. We haven't found the x-intercepts because we need to know what makes these 0. Right? Because that's what we want to know. What makes this 0? So in order to do that we have to use the 0 product property which says that if either of these two factors is equal to 0, this whole quantity is equal to 0. Basically that's just a fancy way of saying take each piece and set it equal to 0. So x plus 3 equals 0, and x plus 4 equals 0, and then solve those. So we're going to subtract 3, so we get x equals negative 3, and then subtract 4, and we get x equals negative 4. So our two x-intercepts for this equation are negative 3 comma 0 and negative 4 comma 0. So these are our three intercepts, 0, 12, negative 3, 0, negative 4, 0. Uh, remember when you're solving um, or when you're finding intercepts, you're substituting in zeros for x and zeros for y to find your x and y intercepts and then solving. So you have to use all of your strategies that you know for solving different types of equations. All right, good luck.